Hi everyone, you're watching the Book Box channel. I'm Bakhtawar and today I wanted to do a video which um, is very casual and um, it's very early in the morning so um, I have my cup of tea. Um, we're doing uh, What's in My Bag, Booktuber edition. I've been seeing this video go around, or it probably was around years ago, I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. This is... Um, uh, this is a messenger bag from a brand called Native Core, which is a Pakistani brand. I think they're based in Lahore or something, I'm not sure. I like their bags a lot because um, obviously it's pure leather, but they mix it with something like canvas or whatever to make it slightly cheaper. The quality is really good. They have actually bags which are completely in leather as well. I like um, a more androgynous sort of style of bag, messenger bags, crossbody bags. Bags like this, this is a crossbody leather bag that the sort that I would use. So yeah, um, what's in this? Uh, firstly, we have my old faithful HP Elite book. It's really old. I don't change electronics to list, you know, I only change them if they stop working completely and they're like beyond fixing. There's a book in here, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. This is the one that I'm thinking of doing a video on, a sort of segment. So that's why this is in here, because I was going through it again. Uh, we have a pouch here, which has um, small things. I don't carry makeup, but this has like um, a velvet mat, sheer lipstick, post-its, uh, lens cleaner for my glasses, a highlighter, random pens. There was a time when I used to be, you know, I used to buy like those really expensive pens, you know, those really funky ones. Now I'm like, so yeah, uh, there's a tiny stapler and tiny staples, painkillers. There's a small comb, which you get free in, in, in different places. Breath spray, uh, a USB. Oh, I, draw, I dropped the USB, hold on. And there is a portable charger. You need to have this for your phone. This is a really, um, this one doesn't have a lot of capacity. It only charges your phone once, but it's better than nothing. It's really, um, comes in handy sometimes. I have a compact mirror with a, with a finch on it. I'm really obsessed with birds. I don't know if you've noticed um, my channel logo and everything. So this is like a, I don't know what this is. What do they call this? Art inside the glass. Oh, oh, nice. This is very important. This is a marhaba balm, which is a, a headache balm of sorts. Um, if you suffer from migraines or headaches, I would really advise that you don't go for medication. Um, this is really good. You put a bit of it on your temples. It smells like uh, neem leaves and stuff. It's very good. It's all natural. And you can also put it on your neck or your forehead. You can, it's even safe enough to put on your eyelids. So yeah, um, what else is in here? There's a wallet. No, wait cheap <laughs> wallet, uh, hand sanitizer, every girl has that. There's glasses, these are ones which I bought down the road, they don't have a brand or anything. But I wanted to try the librarian sort of cat eye moment. Headphones, uh, this is a small cheap perfume that I bought from Minnesota, it smells like chemicals, although it says afternoon tea, but it smells really bad, so I just use this if there's an obnoxious odor. Um, on myself, I, um, I use this one. This is a good summer scent. I will change this around though because um, winter is coming. <laughs> um, let's see. This is my journal. I always have a journal with me. Um, I often write uh, when I'm on the go. Um, I'm self-employed, so I work for myself. So th these are all the things that I will have with me if I'm outside or even if I'm in another city or whatever. This is all the stuff that keeps me sane and I can keep working. A lot of obnoxious people and ignorant people sort of uh, meet me in my daily life and I come across them. They think that um, working for yourself or, you know, freelancing or whatever or being self-employed isn't the same or as taxing as you know working in like an office or something. It's more taxing because there's no room for error and you don't have anyone to help you and um, you know the hours are longer you have to be sort of on call 24 24 7 pretty much especially if uh, you're working with people that live in a separate continent so it's, it's, it's more difficult so yeah. 
just just a small <laughs> public service message. Um, this is a notebook in which I have notes of no particular importance. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I hope you didn't find it too pointless. Um, I'm going to see you in my next one. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.